When it comes to SATA based SSDs, you really can't go wrong with many. The prices of these drives have come down significantly over the past few years to the point that I would really not even recommend you do a build anymore that does not include at least a 120GB SSD for the operating system. There are a lot of SATA based options out there, but some of them lack in certain areas, hindering their overall performance and lifespan. In comes OCZ. They were nice enough to send over their VX500 solid state drive. So is this drive worth your money? Let's find out. With the recent acquisition of OCZ by Toshiba, their drives have made leaps and bounds to become a major factor in the SSD market once again. Their VX500 is no exception. This drive falls in between their enthusiast PCIe NVMe drive, the RD400, and their more value optimized drive, the TR150. So why does the VX500 exist? Well, its place in their product stack really tells the overall story here. The TR150, which is a drive that we're going to be using in a build coming up very shortly, is the value optimized drive. To reach this value, they had to cut back in certain parts, in particular choosing TLC flash components over the better enduring MLC flash. This allows OCZ to sell their drives at a lower cost without cutting corners in much more significant areas, creating a valuable drive for entry level PC builders. Then in front of the VX500 is their PCI NVMe drive that features MLC flash and a PCI interface that allows it to break the barrier that is SATA 3 when it comes to read and write speeds. This is the true enthusiast grade SSD. While the VX500 is limited to SATA 3, it does offer the MLC flash components compared to the TLC and the TR150. This allows for a longer lifespan and more reads and writes. This is how the VX500 hits the middle of their product stack. One issue I do have with this drive is the aesthetic of it, which in Toshiba's defense is not as big of a deal as I'm going to make it out to be, but as someone who values the looks of his hardware, I really wonder why they went for this design. To be perfectly honest, the design of this drive to me looks really last minute. I'm not asking for a printed on design because I am well aware of the higher costs, but I really would think that this drive would benefit from a upgrade in sex appeal by creating a full sticker drive. Just a small nitpick being that most people do shove their drives in the back of their cases and really never look at them. Enough about the overall bill, let's get into performance numbers. Testing the advertised numbers in Crystal Disk 5, we get numbers on par with what we expected, over 500 megabytes per second in the read and write categories, nearly at the top of the SATA 3 standard, which is 600 megabytes per second. One thing that I wish all SSD manufacturers provided with all their drives is a cloning software. This in itself does make the higher cost of the drive much more reasonable. In the box includes a product key for Acronis True Image Software that allows you to create an identical image from let's say a small SSD that you have your OS on and transfer it to a new drive without any issues. Now to conclude, I'm going to talk pricing here. This drive is more expensive than any SSD I have personally had my hands on. The 512GB model that I have here goes for nearly $200, with other options out there being half the price, it really does bring up the question of whether or not the use of MLC flash and including cloning software makes up for this price gap. I personally believe so. As someone who is a power user with my system, I want something that can handle a ton of read and writes while creating my content. The cloning software is very easy to use and I plan on using this drive as my OS slash primary application drive to upgrade my small silicon power SSD. Overall, this drive is meant for a certain market. Those who don't want to fork over a ton of money for a PCI NVMe drive, but want good enough performance and a longer lifespan than the average budget offering out there. I give this my stamp of approval and would recommend it for anyone who falls under this predicament. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you want to pick up one of these drives yourself, a link will be located in the description along with all our social media links which I highly recommend you check out to follow all things Toasty Bros. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, peace out.